Välkommen till Dim by Sigma och Kricks ett felles webinar med fokus på logistik och transportsektorn. Mitt namn är er Anstein Solbrekke och jag jobbar i Dim by Sigma. Först vill jag tacka alla som hade anledning till att sätta all dyrbar tid till att vara med på detta webinar. Jag ska kun ge en kort presentation av dagens agenda för jag ger ordet över till Klick med Paul Winse. Dim by Sigma är er förhandlare av Klick och sammen önskar jag presentera hur man kan bruka analyser som värdeskapar inom transport och logistik. I detta webbinär sätter vi fokus på analys av data och temaer som planläggning och ledetid, kvalitet och lönsamhet. Klick som är er en av ledande business intelligence systemen vi har i dag, flera av de störste ledande transport- och logistikbolagen som kunder i dag. I detta korta webbinär vill vi se på trender, utmaningar och bästa praxis. För att hjälpa oss med och Få et makroperspektiv på sektoren er vi så heldige å ha med oss Paul Winter, som er Director Market Development for transport og logistik i Klik. Han vil vise hvordan transport- og logistikbedrifter i verden over bruker Klik til å øke effektivitet og lønnsomhet gjennom analyse. Avslutningsvis vil vi vise et par eksempler på hvordan man rent praktisk kan bruke Klik. Jeg kommer til å gi en kort demonstration av flåtestyring og logistik dashboards. Så dette så gir jeg ordet over til Paul Winsor. Der du går, Paul. Thank you, Einstein. I shall grab the ball off you and uh, share my screen. If you can just confirm you can see my screen, Einstein, I shall continue. Yeah, it looks, looks good. Great. Hello, everyone, um, and thank you for the introduction, Einstein. Um, I titled my presentation today as uh, to fuel growth, you need to see the whole story in your data. And over the next 20 minutes, I'm hoping to describe what that actually means and why that's important from a transportation logistics perspective. As Einstein said, my name is Paul Windsor. I'm the Director of Transportation Logistics Market Development for Click. I wanted to kick off my presentation this morning by um, looking at and, and, and sort of explaining a recent PwC COE, uh, CEO survey that was taken from um, a number of transportation logistics CEOs. And they talked about within the survey the importance of capitalizing on new technologies that are emerging within the marketplace. I think the important point from, from today's conversation is the fact that the CEO see improvements in operational efficiency is really important in order to deliver better customer experience. And one of the ways to drive better customer experience um, described by the, the survey from the CEOs is getting a stronger grip on the data they collect. Now, being able to do something with that data is what I want to be able to, uh, to talk about today. I want to also draw your attention to um, the comment uh, at the bottom of the screen as well, where the, the three key most important areas that CEOs see to be investing in over the next 12 months is mobile technologies for engaging with customers, uh, cyber security, and data analytics as well. And it's the data analytics part that we're going to be talking about today. I didn't want to uh, miss the opportunity whilst having this uh, webinar today to, to not recognize the importance of the Internet of Things, especially when it comes to transportation and logistics. There is a lot of talk at the moment in the marketplace about being able to take advantage of connected devices to provide kind of new opportunities to analyze performance, um, really get an understanding of being able to get better insights to manage supply, um, demand, and resource availability as well. And again, another recent survey, um, it's very hot and, and very topical at the moment, 97% of executives understand how big data analytics can improve supply chain performance. So there is a lot of talk going on right now, which is talking about taking advantage of the data which is within the marketplace. And so the title of my presentation today is to fuel growth. You need to see the whole story in your data. And, and, and it's absolutely key when you look at the size of the transportation logistics marketplace. Um, it's recognized as the fastest growing sector. It's got a 7% annual increase in the past five years. 
and obviously working in the marketplace yourselves you understand how important it is to see how 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 growing this marketplace is absolutely key it's already a huge industry um, global value of air freight is over 70 billion dollars um, trucks carrying over eight billion tons of kilometers every year and 20 millions of containers uh, are traveling across the ocean you know as we're actually having this webinar today but it's efficiencies through innovation that is seen as an opportunity to grow that uh, and improve the margin and the profit within this market share and you can see some of these examples of innovation that's going on around the globe right now when it comes to the transportation logistics uh, market so let's talk about um, visual analytics and, and being able to see the whole story in your data and some of the examples we're seeing today within the click business there are many examples of data-driven um, transportation logistics discovery examples but I wanted to kind of sort of highlight what we're spending a lot of our time talking to a number of our companies and customers today about and they seem to fall into sort of these sort of six key areas one is the absolute need to optimize your transportation fleet um, the importance to reduce that idle time um, being able to optimize the capacity and the use of, of all vehicles trucks trains whatever it is in terms of the transportation but you know reducing that that position where as you can see just trucks sort of standing still and not actually moving product and so I'm going to show a couple of examples of, of how we're helping companies with that um, providing customer uh, visibility as well one of the one of the areas is, is being able to kind of track compliance but also complaints as well in terms of delivering products and I've got a, a good example I'm going to talk about that in a second um, delivering on time um, obviously very very key the key one of the key KPIs within the market um, being able to kind of um, improve your forecast accuracy get ahead of any of those um, risks that are stopping and standing in your way to actually deliver that um, on time which is absolutely key I'm um, employing performance is absolutely another area that we have a number of our customers with analyzing on time performance um, I've already mentioned efficiencies in the previous um, slide but you know improving productivity of colleagues is also another area that uh, we help many of our transportation logistics customers with and then safety um, not sort of uh, missing out on, on describing sort of the importance of the safety of the workforce and understanding how uh, <coughs> companies are, are keeping their their employees safe so let's just sort of dive into a few of these now just to give you a sort of flavor of some of the companies that we're helping with in these areas and uh, uh, I suppose you'll probably recognize from from my accent that I'm from the UK um, and I want to sort of kick off with what is a company that uh, from a UK perspective is over 500 years old um, which is the Royal Mail Group I think anybody who lives in the UK will know who the Royal Mail Group are um, as it says here uh, they have the capability to deliver at one price goes everywhere six days a week not on a Sunday but they deliver over 25 29 million um, letters and, and parcels uh, 29 million addresses across the UK and they had a challenge um, a, a really significant challenge which they talked about at one of clicks visualize your world conferences last year which was about they wanted to understand why um, there are special uh, delivery parcels that are late um, to actually being sort of delivered to customers and why that was happening so they deploy click um, from a from a loss analysis point of view um, and they started to look at analyzing the compensation that could be claimed by individuals due to you know delays in the delivery based on the the commitment that Royal Mail Group had actually given and they started to look at this for each delivery office and there was hundreds of delivery offices around the UK as well they also wanted to look at the analysis of, of their of their kind of logistics routes as well to understand um, you know the, to determine performance of how late deliveries were versus the agreed performance so they put a number of um, uh, a number of, of opportunities and examples into the click platform to look at this um, Jane Hooper uh, spoke at the visualize your world last year in London and she talked about um, the raw mail operating costs due to sort of understanding this from an analytical point of view are down in terms of compensation claims um, by 
thirty percent, and and also reported to the city as well, uh, a saving of eleven million pounds just simply by being able to analyse exactly how many of those um, uh, individuals were seeing delays um, from from their parcels expected to be to be arrived. Um, Jane talked about the fact that she's always had a vision uh, to use very dynamic data um, constructed in kind of dashboards. Um, and she wants to be able to very quickly give her business users in a few clicks the opportunity to look at the impact of their business from a daily and a weekly and annual performance. So it's a fantastic example of, of, of what is um, a company that's, that's basically delivering to, to the entire UK population. The second one is Schenker, and I think you'd have to um, kind of be living under a stone not to recognize who Schenker are. Transportation worldwide company, over 42,000 employees worldwide, 1,100 offices around the world. Um, Schenker wanted to improve their on-time delivery rates. They were very much focused on the reliability of their company to deliver when they said they were going to deliver. So they deployed Click from a supply chain analysis point of view to look at on-time delivery. They wanted to look at it based on the status, the timing. They wanted to, to drill to location. They wanted to drill to detail on exceptions and really understand where they were ensuring that they were delivering the service that they'd agreed that they would with their customers. Um, <clears throat> Schenker were very much uh, and are very much um, focused on, on customer service quality. Um, and so uh, Click was deployed to be able to give them that, that opportunity. Uh, per Olive Johansson, who's head of IT at Schenker, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, um, talked about in a quote that he talked about Click, which is if we didn't have Click tomorrow, there'd be chaos. Uh, <clears throat> we've been working with Click for so long. <coughs> sorry, uh, it's difficult to imagine how we could have done it without them. Sorry, so I move on to um, Shep. Again, um, fantastic brand, recognized around the world. <clears throat> You've only got to look at the, the stats here in terms of the size of the business, 240 million assets, 345,000 drop-off and pick-up points, 12,000 deliveries per day moving through over 100 service centers. Shep have recently been talking about how they've been using Click with inside their business, and previous to that, they had multiple reports on historical data. They couldn't kind of figure out what was going wrong until after this fact. So they've now implemented Click from what they describe as a visual cockpit. It's their terminology of how they use, how they see Click being used as a real visual way of understanding and reacting to their business. And they use real-time intelligence for this as well. So this is a real-time updates of understanding the, the performance of their business. Now they're in a position where they can start to predict <coughs> yesterday's costs with, a, with an accuracy of 99% based on the load per mile basis. And previously to this, because they had to wait almost 7 to 10 days um, for the carriers to kind of um, get their invoices and do the cost calculations, um, now they're doing that very, very quickly. Gives them a better cost control of their company, um, performing greater than 3% better in terms of on-time delivery. And it's nice to hear <coughs> another quote here, which is, um, Click has moved from being a reactive, helped us move them from a, a reactive to a proactive and even to a pre predictive analytics when it comes to understanding their business. And the final one um, I just want to quickly touch on, um, it's not a company that I can name in terms of the brand, but it's a leading transportation company. Uh, they wanted to, um, they were seeing they had a lot of latency in terms of um, their data, <coughs> and um, they wanted to look at um, driver management performance as well. Um, so they were looking at tracking the idle time of their trucks, and, and they produced a, a driver management dashboard. And again, because of the significance of Click being used inside the organization, I hope you've, we've given you an example here of, of, of how many people are using um, Click with inside their business and how senior people are as well. So the president of the company uses Click all day long to make his decisions. So that gives you some idea of just some of the companies now already using Click from a transportation logistics perspective. But I want to move on to um, finishing off with talking about what we're seeing ourselves as Click as one of the leaders within um, Vision Analytics around what we're seeing within the marketplace. 
I think the first thing to recognize, and, and again, um, it won't be a surprise to anybody, but we are now living in a digital economy. And, and what this means is that um, previous to struggling to having data with inside our businesses to make better decisions, um, we now have a situation on the planet where data is everywhere. In fact, you know, there's indications that it's grown by a factor of 44. I'm only four years away from on the planet having over 35 zettabytes worth of data. Now, considering that terabytes used to be a significant amount of data, we've now moved on from terabytes to petabytes um, to exabytes, and now we're talking about zettabytes worth of data. It's a significant amount of data on the planet. The one thing that Click's very, very good at respecting is understanding that uh, data is just a source. Um, it's no more than that. And uh, you know, it is people that still make decisions. It's absolutely key to make sure that we give people the platform, the capability to make those decisions. The challenge is, at the same time, and you probably feel this with inside your organizations and in your day-to-day -day life, but at the same time, business is moving faster than ever before. Um, a great sort of uh, study came out uh, recently that 42% of business professionals need to make data-driven decisions within one day. Um, I guess you kind of feel like that yourself, and it's different to where business used to be a number of years ago. So we need to make better, smarter, quicker decisions within the day. The other point I want to sort of reflect on here and, and sort of give you some, some time to kind of think about this is, is that where visual analytics and where business intelligence has moved from in the last number of years, from you know, asking the question, do you just want to see your data, which is what we've been doing for a number of years when it comes to business intelligence, or do you want to move yourself into an, into a, a, an environment where you want to understand your data? And there's a very, very clear distinction between the two. And this is a great example of describing that. So if we go all the way back to the 70s, some 40 odd years ago, um, for those that were around and still working in those sort of periods of time, you'll know that pretty much everyone was making decisions based on gut feel. And it was um, technology that kind of moved us away from having to make those decisions based on gut feel with the introduction of ordering, uh, management ordering systems, um, the introduction in the 80s of the data warehouse. You can consolidate all your data into one location. And then we had these traditional stack uh, business intelligence vendors that allowed us to be able to put a snapshot in time of a, of a report that sat on top of our data. But it was really sort of ter uh, it was really sort of a click that came in some um, 20 odd years ago that introduced and disrupted the marketplace with the introduction of data discovery, that ability to be able to explore your data, all of your data, and uncover what was in those days an unexpected insight, the first time you can start to see some insights into your data that wasn't how you thought your business was. And it's what we've been doing for a number of years, and it's where we find ourselves today, still doing that, still doing that for 38,000 companies worldwide. But where we find ourselves today and where we see ourselves from a visual analytics uh, marketplace is the importance of having a platform approach uh, to, vis uh, to business intelligence and having analytics at the point of decision. And it's a really, really important point to raise, being able to give information and analytics at the point of when you're going to make that decision is absolutely key. So rather than it being a business user or somebody sitting in a headquarters, um, visual analytics is now moving itself right down to the operational and the transportation and the logistics employee that can have information in their hands to make that decision. And the reason why that is, is because um, in today's world, um, we are all information activists. If you think about yourselves and you think about um, you know, how you, you live your life, we've all got information at our fingertips all the time. Smartphones has allowed that to become possible. And it's what we want to see when it comes to our daily and work, work life as well. We want to have information to help us make those better decisions. Mobile has made that possible. And Click has made that possible on mobile devices. So just finishing off on this, um, the visual analytics marketplace this is a very, very busy uh, slide. So I just want to sort of point out uh, one or two things on this slide. There is definitely a shift 
eccentricity of how people are starting to use business intelligence and visual analytics. I want to draw your attention down to the bottom left-hand side of this slide and looking at that business and personal sort of shift um, from, from how people are starting to use information. Um, and we find ourselves now at information workers. It's definitely um, a position now where people inside the business that are information workers that are using, using um, and need information every single day in their lives um, needs um, visual analytics as part of their day-to-day -day working uh, lifestyle. And I want to draw your attention to the top right-hand corner as well. And um, We mustn't um, underestimate the importance now of, of having to think about external data. Um, most new data is generated from outside of organizations, from very diverse sources, um, and Click uses uh, the, the, provides the capability of being able to sort of take advantage of that external data alongside your traditional internal data to start to make better decisions. And a really classic example that Click uses in this is weather data. And it can't be any more important in a transportation logistics environment and understanding how the weather is impacting journey times and on-time deliveries. And we made that data available inside Click alongside your traditional data as well. So what do Click do? Well, they rapidly make data accessible. We're not frightened of any data source. In fact, we kind of, you know, uh, we're, we're motivated and, and kind of, you know, invite any sort of data source that can be sort of taken advantage of and, and sort of started to, to explore and understood from a Click platform perspective. We want to connect every user to their data, and that's a vision that Click has within the marketplace. So finishing off, uh, my last part of this is to talk about um, just some Click Transportation Logistics solutions that we already have available, literally, for people to take advantage of today and companies to take advantage of. One of them is fleet management. We have a number of companies today that are using us from a Click fleet management perspective, ability to be able to use Click to monitor fuel costs, um, utilize your fleet, understand the impl implications of, of your of, of fleet maintenance, being able to sort of leverage third-party data to benchmark yourself in terms of fuel consumption. Uh, these are sort of solutions that are, that are in, in play today and being used and click and help you with today. Second one is a supply chain analytics solution, being able to kind of compare your demand plan and identify exceptions. Um, as we talked about um, already this uh, today is, is track on time performance, routing decisions. We use a, a lot of capability around what if scenarios, being able to adjust your routing decisions to still meet those service level agreements. The importance of, of carbon footprint in, a company, in companies like transportation logistics and also evaluating vendor performance um, in terms of, of, of customers and companies that you, you work with. And the final one is sales analytics. So um, very important to kind of understand and track sales um, by regions, by budgets, um, going right down into understanding how each of the distribution centers and, and, and transportation companies are performing in terms of sales performance, who are the top customers. Um, and again, that, that sort of what if scenario is, is able to sort of be played out as well. So I started by opening up my presentation saying, um, you know, to fuel, uh, to fuel growth, you need to see the whole story within your data. I just want to finish off with you know, what it typically would look like with a traditional linear data visualization capability if you wanted to understand how uh, a driver employee is performing based on um, fuel costs and um, any accidents and uh, charges due to sort of violations or vehicle impacts or you know, um, impacts and maintenance or repairs. If you wanted to understand all of this, typically if you used a linear data visualization approach, you'd have have to drill down in a very, very sort of um, structured way from understanding the fleet to arriving at fuel to getting to fuel type to getting transactions costs. And if you wanted to go back up to fuel, you'd have to take that journey back up again. The absolute unique point of Click is this associative experience that you can, um, we can provide in terms of a, of a Click's visual analytics platform. The ability to go anywhere and explore anywhere. You might find that there's something within fuel type, there is something within your fleet insight that takes you off to looking at parking, that looking at violations. And it's that ability to be able to sort of really cross your data and understand and take that journey to see the whole story in your data 
is where Click is really helping and taking advantage for uh, companies that are taking advantage of, of Click. So with that, um, I want to thank you uh, for your time and, uh, and, and listening to me today. And I want to hand back over to Ash Dan, um, who's going to take you through and show you a bit around um, what this looks like from a Click's uh, demo perspective. Ash Dan. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for sharing the trends and uh, customer stories with us. Uh, I will move on now with, um, uh, yeah, first of uh, all, so will I go over to Norsk. <laughs> now we are. Jeg skal vise et par eksempler på klikkdemoer. Den første demoen jeg skal vise tar for seg flåtestyring. Det vil si hvordan du enkelt kan få oversikt og innsikt i en flåte av kjøretøyer. Datagrunnlag i demoen er basert på kjøretøyhistorikk fra ambulansekjøretøy. Her har vi information om kjøretøytype, modell, arbeidssted, kilometerstand, servicehistorikk, skadehistorikk, drivstofforbruk og så videre. Vi har også information om kostnader knyttet til hvert kjøretøy, og vi har koblet stedsnavn til kartdata, slik at vi kan vise kjøretøy i kart. Vi har satt opp et dashboard som viser totale kostnader og en del andre kopier, blant annet gjennomstilte kostnad per mil, antall kjøretøy i bilflåten, fordeling, av kostnader per kostnadstype, som skader, vedlikehold, drivstoff og så videre. Kostnader per mil per type kjøretøy, altså kjøretøymodell. Og fordeling av kjøretøyflåten på hva som er operative kjøretøy, hva som er i opplæring, hva som er reserve og hva som er ute av tjeneste. Vi har også en graf som viser utvikling gjennom året og hvilke deler av året som, der kostnadene per mil er høyest. Vi har også lagt opp en del filtre der vi kan filtrere på bilmerke, modell, modelltype, område og periode. Takket være den assosiative funksjonaliteten i klikk, kan jeg nå se sammenhengen i dataene som jeg ellers ikke ville fått sett i for eksempel Excel. Jeg klikker på et område, og jeg ser med en gang at resten av datagrunnlaget filtreres i henhold til det valget jeg nå har gjort på området. Jeg har også lagt opp noen andre visualiseringer. Her viser vi kjøretøyinformasjon. Vi viser antall kjøretøy per type, for eksempel. Vi kan se også detaljene per kjøretøy. Vi ser alt for skiltnummer, årsmodell, kilometerstand og så videre bortover her. Og vi ser kjøretøyene er plassert i kart, og størrelsen og fargen på sirklene i kartet representerer antall kjøretøy. Her kan jeg klikke direkte inn i kartet, og jeg får opp de kjøretøyene som hører til det valget som jeg gjorde på de kjøretøyene som jeg nettopp valgte. Vi ser at valget følger meg hele veien her, og vi ser hvilket valg jeg har gjort her oppe. Det er også en oversikt som viser status på kostnader, utvikling på kostnader, og hvilke kostnader per mil per kjøretøy, så vi kan identifisere dyre kjøretøy i flåten. Jeg har et skatteplottdiagram som viser sammenhengen mellom kilometerstand og kostnader per mil per kjøretøy. Det diagrammet kan jeg ekspandere, så at jeg får se det litt bedre. Jeg kan nå finne si avvik som gjør at jeg må ta, jeg må undersøke det litt nærmere. For eksempel sånn, så ser jeg nå at jeg har noen kjøretøy som har veldig høy kostnad per kjørte mil, og de vil jeg plukke ut og se litt nærmere på. Da kan jeg bare gjøre sånn. Nå ser jeg hvilke kjøretøy det er. Jeg kan gå tilbake og så kan jeg gå og se i 
detaljoversikten og se akkurat hvilket kjøretøy det er. Hvis jeg skal gjøre mine egne visualiseringer, så kan jeg opprette et nytt ark, et nytt blankt ark, som jeg kaller for My Sheet. Det ser vi nå at det er helt tomt, og for å legge til visualiseringer, så trykker jeg Edit, og så får jeg opp en rekke eh, visualiseringsobjekter som jeg kan velge blant. For eksempel så vil jeg ha et bar chart, da er det bare å dra og slipp, og jeg kan velge hvilken dimensjon jeg vil bruke til akkurat det objektet. Jeg velger at jeg vil ha dimensjonen status, og for å legge til et måltall så vil jeg nå telle opp antall kjøretøyer, derfor skriver jeg en skiltnummer. Så får jeg opp automatisk en del aggregeringsmetoder. Jeg vil bruke count i dette tilfellet her. Og jeg får med en gang opp det, den grafen jeg vil ha. Nå ser jeg at jeg har valgt noe allerede, så jeg vil ta bort det valget som jeg gjorde i sted. Så vil jeg gå inn igjen, og jeg er ikke helt fornøyd med grafen, jeg vil gjøre den litt finere. Se på å legge på andre farger. Jeg vil ha det liggende, og så videre. Det er enkelt å formatere objektene i klikkhuet. Så vil jeg kanskje ha et annet objekt, jeg vil ha et kakediagram. Jeg vil nå ha bilmerket som dimensjon, og det samme måltallet som i sted. Så har jeg kakediagram. Nå skal jeg vise et annet eksempel i klikk. Denne demoen tar for seg transport og shipping av varer. Her har vi et datagrunnlag som gir oss fraktinformasjon som leveransedato, leveransetype, om det er leveranse på bakke eller i luft, forsinket eller i tide, hvilken type vare det er, om det er online eller i butikk, og så videre. Jeg har også her stedinformasjon, slik at vi kan vise tallene i kart. I dashboardet har vi laget noen kopier som sier hvordan vi gjør det på antall forsendelser, kostnader og leveransepresisjon oppimot målsetting. Vi ser fordeling på bakke transport mot flytransport, og vi ser utvikling over tid, og vi ser dataene i kart, der størrelsene på sirklene representerer antall forsendelser til de ulike stedene. I oversikten distribusjonsruter ser vi forsendelsesteder i kart, og vi har liste som viser antall forsendelser og gjennomsnitt til leveringstid. Vi har filter på varehus, vi har på divisjon, type transportør og ordrekategori. La oss si jeg har ansvaret for varehusene i Oslo og Bergen. Velger jeg de i nettverksmenyen, sånn. Nå ser vi informasjon som kun er knyttet til de to varehusene jeg har valgt. Oversikten leveransepresisjon gir meg viktig informasjon som gjør at jeg kan se status for mine varehus, i dette tilfellet Oslo og Bergen. Og jeg kan finne forbedringsområder. Jeg kan se mønstre som gjør at jeg kan ta affære. Her ser vi fordeling, online og butikk, og vi ser utvikling på leveransepresisjon over tid. Vi har også oversikt over detaljene. Jeg tar snapshot av objektene, som jeg skal komme tilbake til hvorfor jeg gjør det og hva vi bruker det til. I oversikten fraktanalyse kan vi analysere kundene i forhold til fraktkostnader, vekt, leveringstid og presisjon. Noen ganger trenger vi å presentere tallene, 
I Sens er det enkelt å lage gode presentasjoner. Vi kaller det Stories. Her kan vi ta utgangspunkt i eksisterende rapporter som vi har lagt tidligere, og som denne. Eller vi kan lage nye stories eller nye presentasjoner. Nå lager jeg en ny story som jeg skal presentere basert på utvalget jeg har gjort, det vil si mine to varehus. I Stories i Klikk er det enkelt å både legge til objekter og formatere det. Man kan også legge til egen tekst som forklarer det vi ser. Så hvis jeg nå lager en titel for side, kaller den noe, for eksempel månedsrapport. Så kan jeg også legge til for eksempel en logo, eller jeg kan formatere det sånn som i forhold til min firmaprofil. Her kan vi laste opp bilder og logoer og sånne ting, og bruke det i presentasjonen. Hvis jeg skal ha en ny side nå, så trykker jeg bare på plusstegnet, og jeg har mulighet til å legge til både hele sider fra applikasjonen som vi så i sted, eller jeg kan starte med en blank side og legge til enkelte objekter. Nå vil jeg legge til en hel side, trykker jeg bare Select Sheet, så får jeg valget å legge til de sidene som ligger ferdig i applikasjonen. Jeg velger Dashboard-siden, sånn, får opp den, og så vil jeg ha en ny side, den vil jeg ha blank. Og nå kommer vi tilbake til det jeg gjorde i sted, å ta snapshot av objekter, de får jeg opp nå. Nå vil jeg ha de objektene som jeg nå tok et snapshot av. Da kan jeg bare dra og slippe inn i presentasjonen. Jeg kan også her legge til tilleggsinformasjon, hvis jeg skal kommentere noe i presentasjonen. Kan formatere teksten og tilpasse. Sånn. Da er jeg en ferdig story. Som jeg kan bla i. Hvis vi nå gjør en presentasjon, så er det ofte at det blir spørsmål til tallene. I stories så kan vi enkelt gå inn og gå direkte i kilden. Det vil si at hvis jeg nå har spørsmål til det vi ser på et av varehusene for eksempel, så kan jeg velge go to source kommer jeg rett inn i applikasjonen, og vi kan gjøre analyser, eller vi kan gå og se litt mer på datagrunnlaget, for å kanskje finne ut hvorfor ting er som det er, i det vi presenterte i Stories. Selvfølgelig er det enkelt å eksportere til PowerPoint eller PDF, for å kunne distribuere det videre. Jeg håper dette har vært et lærerikt webinar, og jeg ønsker alle en fin dag videre. En stor takk til Paul Winsel for å dele trender i transportsektoren og kundehistorier med oss. Takk for nå! 